Right, so I've got to draw a uh, rectangle with a perimeter of 14, which means that's four-sided shape. So if two sides have length 7, then I should have a rectangle with 14, shouldn't I, because two sevens are 14. So I'm drawing one and one each way, and that's 6. Now if I draw one more, now I've got a 4 and a 3, which makes 7. So if I just make that into a rectangle, it should have a perimeter of 14. So this is 4... This is, yep, that works, isn't it? 4, 3, 4, 3. And that makes 14. OK, and let's look at the next question. We've got to try and make a right angled triangle. So we'll have a 90 degree angle in it. Uh, and it's got to have an area of 12 centimetres squared. Well, I know that the area of the triangle is half times the base times by the height. Um, so what I could do is, if, actually, if I write down the formula for that, maybe a method would come clear. So a half times by the base times by the height has got to equal 12. Now if I times both sides by 2, I get rid of that half. So the base times by the height has got to be 24. So what are the factors of 24? Well... Uh, I could use 12 and 2, but I don't think I can draw that on here. An 8 by 3, I could. 8 threes are 24, aren't they? So if I draw a triangle that's 8 high and 3 wide, so here's my 3 wide and 8 high. 1, 2, 3, oh no, 4, 5, 6, so like that. Uh, that's only 7 high, so I'm going to have to do it the other side. So I'm going to draw it 1 down here. That's 8 high and 3 wide, just enough room. Don't worry about making a mistake. Don't cross that out from the exam. Just leave it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to try and make a straight right angle triangle now. Straight sides. There we go. Now this area will be half times by 8 times by 3, which equals 12. So I know that's right. Okay. So let's go to the examiner's report. And mm, good. Hmm. I think we've got the wrong uh, marks in there. Right, I apologise, but the uh, the answers is right. Mm, Twelve. Yeah. Good. 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 